Hi, my name is Boris and in today's video we're going to be making another classic house drum pattern. We'll use some loops as well as one shots to create the drum groove from the track you've just heard. This template is called Pianista and it's part of our classic house production pack which also includes all of the samples you need to produce this genre. And also we have a completely free sample pack for you guys, free female vocals volume one. Make sure to grab it, it's incredibly useful for making house tracks. And just before we get into the video, if you like what we are doing on this channel, consider subscribing. You've got a lot more content about classic house coming up. All right, let's get started. Okay, so let's solo the drums and hear what we're going to be making today. And let's open another project and make this pattern from scratch. Okay, so we have a few samples loaded up here. For example, the kick, clap, snaps, and we also have an open hat. And we're going to be using some of these samples as well as some loops. And to get started, let's just draw a quick kick pattern. Let's make a new MIDI clip here and just draw four kicks. And we can extend this pattern over the entire clip. And on this sidechain track, we just have a loop of kicks playing as well. Let's actually duplicate this pattern onto the claps and maybe just uh, remove the first and the third. Okay, so let's hear what that sounds like. And as for the sound design of the claps, we just have two samples layered. There's this clap as well as this one. Okay, so nothing crazy. Let's continue and copy this to the snaps. And I'm actually going to consolidate this clip and we're just going to leave these two uh, notes here. Just to give it a bit of variation. And uh, let's open up the open hats and we can draw another MIDI clip here. This is what it sounds like. And let's copy over this note a few times and we can even copy the sequence. Okay, so let's hear what that sounds like all together. Okay, so nothing crazy, but we have some solid foundations and we can add some top loops in order to really spice this up. To get started, let's load up a percussion loop and we're going to be using uh, our Deep Premium Volume 1 pack uh, and some of our premium house loops here and uh, we will use loop number six percussion. Let's drag it over and extend it. And we just have a low cut applied here. So let's hear what that sounds like. So that's perfect. Let's add some more percussion loops. Let's add loop 18 percussion as well. We're going to do the exact same thing. Let's extend this loop and we're going to add a simple EQ. So we're just band passing the sound because one of the hits has a bit more bass. So let's hear what that sounds like. Okay, so that seems to play nicely together. Let's add another loop. And we're also using our Deep Premium Pack Volume 1. This time a percussion loop that sounds like this. Okay, so let's add that in. So it adds a bit of an offbeat percussion element that sounds really groovy to me. Let's try loop number four here. And this time we're going to be using the Deep Premium Volume 2 loops. And dragging that in and let's play it. Hi, this video is sponsored by us. If you like these tutorials and want to support the channel, check out our website packed with online courses and professional sound packs. If you want to cut years of your learning curve, check the PML Beginner to Advanced Music Production Program for Ableton Live. 
you will know Ableton inside out and learn how to write, produce, mix and master complete tracks. You learn step by step at your own speed, from an empty file to professional production, as if we're sitting side by side in the studio. Thank you for listening, and now let's get back to your tutorial. One thing we can do is, for example, take this loop and put it a few steps down. So a fifth, for example, minus seven semitones. And that fits much better with all the other elements. Now we're going to add a cool trick. And this time we're going to use a right sample, which sounds like this. So very simple sound, and we're going to use it to fill out some of the high frequencies even more. Let's activate the loop setting, and let's decrease the loop length, increase the fade. So now it sounds like this. And we can actually add a single note over the entire clip. And let's hear what that sounds like. That's a bit much, but now we can add an auto filter that with an LFO, which just moves our filter for us. And maybe even an EQ. So let's hear what that sounds like. That really fills out some of the higher frequencies. And if we go into the group, uh, you can see that we can we have two effects we can apply. First one is the glue compressor. And that just adds a bit of cohesion when we process the entire group with a compressor. And let's add the drum bus as well. Which really adds a bit of punch. And we are increasing the transients here. And we're just mixing it in slightly. Uh, let's play it with some other instruments. And here we actually have a group with all the effects that were applied. Uh, of course, we haven't utilized all the possibilities here. We have a bit more effects on each of the chains. Let's hear what that sounds like if we just put a bit of time into mixing uh, all these loops. Okay, so as you can see, we have some saturation on the group. There's a bit more EQing on the kick, as well as a drum bus. We have also a compressor, also some EQing on the claps, EQing the snaps, as well as also some redux on some of the uh, loops and hi-hats, and uh, some panning on the rides, for example, or the percussion elements. Let's go back to the full project now. Pay attention to the um, ride that is going on in the background. All right, so that would be it for us for constructing this drum groove. Thank you guys very much for watching. Consider checking out our Music Production Academy. We've got a lot of start to finish courses on there for both beginners and more advanced producers. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you enjoyed this video, leave us a like and write us a comment. And I will see you in the next ones.